Well, welcome back. Today we're going to go back to the basics of this channel and I'm going to show you some paint work, some airbrush work that I currently am doing on Jaded the Bobber. And uh, I'm going to walk you through. Some parts might be a little boring. I'm going to try to help that out a little bit, but we're going to go over kind of doing this, which is a Memphis Shades handguard. And uh, I'm going to kind of go through the process of how I laid that down. And uh, hope you like it and stay tuned. So here we go. Got kind of my design drawn in there a little bit. I'm sure you can see it. So this will be going on this side, as you can see. So my right hand, in my throttle hand. This one's not going to have, you can kind of see on the detailing, there's not very much to this one. Um, so we'll see how it comes out. Kind of do a little, do step by step and see how it goes. So let me flip things around and uh, we will get started on it and try to get some of it recorded. All right, let's get set up. All right, so we are going to start on getting the eye done. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna start in doing the white of the eye and we'll work that in. I will probably use a little bit of masking and shields just so that I can get in here with the limited amount of overspray as possible. Keep it as clean as we can get it. Starting out, so. Just use a regular, regular old circle stencil here. Just use it so I can get some of my lines crisp. And the edge of the eyes you probably don't have to get like super crisp just yet because yes we are going to go in with the skin skin tones here so the lighter color is actually going to help with that and so i'm actually not going in and it might look like it on the camera but i am not going in with a solid uh, pure white right now it's about a value nine on the grayscale, so it's got a little hint of black in it. Kind of like the nose. And I have this mask off here because it's gonna be a different color. Part of the painting, but it's gonna be just a little bit different. Okay, so I have the skin tone roughed in. I masked off this eye. Cause now what we're gonna go in is we're going to, uh, gonna fill us in 
and then we will go start on the retina. So this color is actually a little bit grayer than the color that I put down on the uh, actual eye itself. So we'll come in. And we'll come in and we'll do the pupil. But I am gonna have to wait and see because I need my other. I need my other. Okay, I needed my my other round stencil here. So what we'll do here is. I kind of want to tape off the holes because you don't want these other ones to kind of get in the way. And then you'll have kind of like a ghosting circle in there that you don't really want there. Alright, so I darken around these edges here, and now we're going to go in and start with the color. So I'm just going to start kind of letting it add in my color. We will come back in here with some highlights here, but I just want to get some of this detail of the eye in here and then go from there. Come in, we'll do a little wash over it. highlights in there and then we go from there so let's uh so now we'll go in and start doing some of the little highlights The reason why I'm doing that, normally candy does not go over black. You can't tell, right? But because this was more than a pure black when I laid it down, there is a little bit of a... <clears throat> Excuse me, there was a little bit of a, like, gray to it. So it did not, uh... Didn't hide the black as well as it should. We'll just go back. Like that again. The reason why I'm doing this is because I am going to put a highlight on that pupil. But 
but if I left it like that when I went back in with the white, it would show up that blue. So I'm just kind of trying to put the shadow in here a little bit more because this whole part is going to be darkened up here, so I want it there. And this pupil is not quite. Perfectly round. Sorry. Let me get my paint flow just right. Anyway, what I could do is we'll come back in, we'll put that highlight in there. Kind of like right here. Okay, we're just gonna put a little highlight. Right there. Okay, so that part of the eye is kind of done. So let's get ready to move on to the next. All right, so I've kind of jumped ahead a little bit because I got a phone call and uh, most of y'all know who it was. It was Truck and Biker. So we are working this in. And, uh, so we're just working in some more of the color. How much you guys can see? Let's see. Hopefully you can kind of see that. I'm at an angle where I can't really see the camera, but uh, hopefully you are able to see that. I got that part in. Now we'll go in. I'm gonna put in. Go in. We're gonna start doing some of the shading around the eyeball. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay in, I'm gonna start filling this in with, with the hair. So we're just gonna blanket coat this. So I've just got a brown mixture in here right now. 
and we're just gonna eventually it's gonna go darker than this we're just gonna kind of layer it but we're just for the time being we're just filling this void in save this because I'm going to come in here to do the hair like the follicles I'm going to use this color again along with some other color but getting a good start of that eye down now I did mask this off I did not show this um, but here is like she's got a, a mask on so we'll go in once this is all done we're gonna go in and shadow and highlight things and make it look really a lot better so for right now, I gotta hit that, kind of blend all that stuff in. Okay, so I started putting in and shading this in a little bit. I didn't want to bore you guys too much because it's just kind of boring but anyway what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put in some eyelashes you can do it with an airbrush or you can go in here with a uh, fine line paintbrush and you can hit these in there it's not super hard but so we're also going to do a couple little like strands of some loose hair on her face but she does have a couple that show up so Here, darken this up a little bit because it's working that eye crease in a little bit. So, you guys have that glare as well, so you can kind of see how she's turning out. We'll go in and mix up some colors. We'll go in and hit this hair, and I'll show you how I do that. So let me pause it here, and then we'll get back to it. Okay, so let's put in some highlighted hair here. So you notice what I'm using is kind of like a, a weep, kind of a weep color, it's a, or a weep type, you know, you can find it in your craft stores like Hobby Lobby or Michaels. A lot of people will use like a black, I think it's black beard wheat. So you just get a couple strands, you tape them together, kind of find out how you want to get it in there. 
you'll see it put some highlights in it. This works great for hair, and fur, and uh, anything else with I'm trying to get that type of texture with. When you layer it, it gives you a more of a, uh, I guess it kind of gives you a little bit more of a realistic look to it. So let's see if I can get you close and kind of see how her hair is coming along. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna shoot in a couple strands in here and then we will hit this area, kind of give it some some shadow and some depth and then pretty much it's gonna be ready to go so I will show you once I'm done with that all right so we'll go in and see if we can't start getting some of this to look Kind of a little preview here, see what this looks like. So I think that works pretty good. kind of where that's at right here. We'll just kind of feather this up a little bit. Don't really want that hard line coming off that, so we'll just kind of blend it in a little bit. And that should be it. All right, that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I tried to compress it so it wasn't as long or as boring. Hope you liked it. Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, and the bell icon. Show your support, and as always, rock on.